Hey guys, Zippo here. I know I haven't put up a video in a while, but uh, I just wanted to do a little update video real quick. Um, things I've been doing. Uh, and uh, right now, this video is going to be about something I've been doing to uh, get ready for uh, Low Buck Prepper's uh, Prepper stock out in Arizona next weekend. Um, I'm from Texas and I'm not used to them uh, Arizona cold nights, so uh, I figure I'd. Uh, do a little update on the wood stove and uh, get it ready to go and uh, here's what I got for the wood stove for the Arizona cold nights first off we've gone over the entire thing with rust-oleum high heat tough tough protective enamel uh, it's made for grills and wood stove it's supposed to resist heat up to 1200 degrees and I went over the whole thing in that it's got a really nice mean looking matte black finish now and I uh, went over the top portion of the chimney stack with it too uh, just so if you're trying to be inconspicuous and covert you ain't got this big shiny silver chimney sticking out of the top so I went over that in all matte black Then after that I came in and I put in a cold air external air intake um, this is gonna make the uh, wood stove a lot more efficient uh, either in a house or in a tent like we're going to be using it in Arizona. Uh, basically instead of uh, pulling air from the surrounding room or a tent that's then going to pull cold air in from the outside into your tent or building, this is going to take cold air directly from the outside uh, through this pipe and directly into the stove, making the stove a lot more efficient uh, for your heating purposes. So, uh, this is going to be the first test burn to do two things. One, to see how well this uh, Rust-Oleum high heat paint actually holds up on a wood stove. And uh, two, to just make sure, I'm pretty sure with this downward angle and it being the air intake, uh, that this aluminum uh, hose, pipe, tubing, whatever you want to call it, vent pipe is what it is, I think, uh, is going to hold up and not melt or anything. Uh, basically just make sure the whole thing runs right and this is going to be our last test burn before we uh, take it out and I really don't want to get the thing all the way to Arizona and find out that the paint starts smoking and kills us all. So uh, this is Scotty. He's not going with us to Arizona but uh, he wishes he could. He's uh, one of them lame people out there that has a job so we don't really take too kindly to them. But uh, he's going to film me and uh, I put about half a cup of kerosene in this thing so we'll see how well it goes up okay don't light your wood stove with an empty spray paint can on top it does not end well here get like over here so you can see in the stove Alright, give me my camera. Alright, first off, you got that shut so you got no more air coming in. Let's see if y'all can see it. Maybe sort of, kind of. There is definitely a lot of nice billowing smoke coming out of our chimney. Here, maybe get it against help. Dang, y'all can't see that very much at all. It's coming out and it's coming out thick. So, our uh, air intake is working. I didn't have one of them little twirly fans, so I stapled me some ribbon on the end of a thingy to see if I can't visualize air movement. Yeah, you can't really see it much at all. Oh, there we go, a little bit. Let's see if I can feel it with my hand. Yeah, you can definitely feel I mean, it's not going too fast, but it's sucking in air just a little bit. Now, here we got one problem. The top of the wood stove smoking. is smoking. That's not good. So, what first thing we're going to do, get out my light. We're going to come over here and we're going to shut our damper off. Let me 
and get it to shut off. There we go. Cut a little bit of that air off. Y'all can't really see it, but it's definitely smoking. I'm going to cut this video off and uh, we'll come back uh, see how it does in a few minutes. Hey guys, Zippo back here for the conclusion of my video. Um, all the smoke that we saw coming off of the uh, wood stove, it wasn't the paint uh, melting or uh, anything happening to it. It was just the, uh, the vapor, the kind of moisture evaporating out of the paint and uh, off of the wood stove. Um, the paint is actually held, holding up surprisingly well. Um, we've added more wood, opened the door, uh, heated up really hot, and all this paint is uh, it's staying really well. Uh, so, just a little, uh, kind of shout out, give them my, uh, seal of approval. If you got a wood stove or anything that you need to, uh, you want to put a coat on and, uh, make it last, this Rust-Oleum high heat, tough protective enamel stuff works great. Um, and it's, uh, I think it costs like four or five bucks at Home Depot for a can of this, and this one can coated that whole thing. Uh, with multiple coats. I think I put two or three coats on the entire thing and probably four or five uh, on the top of it and then uh, one coat on the uh, chimney. So plenty enough paint to do any small project like this. Four or five bucks works great. Um, as far as my external air intake goes, it uh, you can still feel it pulling. It uh, It's not like an extreme vacuum, but it's definitely working. Um, keeping the fire going really good and just this little makeshift uh, damper that I put in here it's got a disc in it about the same size it's welded onto that and it just spins around in there and it works really well Let's see if I can touch this yeah I made this really well where this uh, it angles down I've talked about it in other videos where this handle stays cool really it's cool enough to touch but uh fire's going good in there we uh, added a pot of water up here, and uh, hasn't started boiling yet, but it's definitely getting hot. So, this is definitely going to be a uh, very nice addition to our big tent out in Arizona. And uh, all y'all going to uh, Prepper Stock, we'll see y'all there. See y'all later.